Jane. I live at Park Life, one of the five buildings in Nightingale Village in Brunswick. Mm -hmm. And who do you live here with? Uh, my partner Sean and our daughter Josie. And Sean is vision impaired, so we also live with his guide dog, Kane. Um, so Nightingale was on the radar for a while. I think when the very first Nightingale building was built a number of years ago, I was really interested in it. It sounded amazing, sustainable, it looked great. So I, think I actually have lived in apartment buildings before, um, one main one, and I think the first thing that comes to mind is it's just extremely social. It's very much about building a community here. So when this was being built, we all got to know each other. We had a few in-person gatherings, but because it was during the COVID period of the pandemic, the actual building part, we had a lot of online catch-ups and meetings about the building process, all of that. Um, so definitely number one has been the community. We got to know our neighbours and then actually living with them in person, it's just been beyond what what we hoped. It's just so amazing. Um, and then obviously the sustainable part of it. So living in Nightingale did influence my decision to, to get the love and carry bike. I uh, was already thinking about an electric bike, um, but I, I definitely, since we moved here, I was like, right, I'm ready to take the step. Um, and a friend actually mentioned this particular brand of oh, bike. Um, so yeah, she told me about it. I looked it up straight away, Googled it. Um, and then I happened to be in Fitzroy one day and I tend to do things quite spontaneously. So I thought I'll just pop in. Yeah, and I, I did a little test ride. It might have been that day or the second day I went back. Um, and then it was all fairly easy. So the main thing I'm doing with the bike at the moment is the, the school commute with Josie. Um, so she's going to like school up the road, so we jump on our bike in the morning. Um, I was a tiny bit nervous at the start with the, the good old uphill bike path. It's quite busy, it's peak hour for bikes. Um, but the great thing about this load and carry and the electric bike is um, we can put it into turbo mode if we need to, so I, I don't feel like I'm holding anyone up behind us. Um, it also cuts down on a few minutes of the trip <laughs> to get there nice and fast. The subscription has definitely made our life easier uh, because the the idea of buying a bike outright, um, that was going to be a, a big investment, so I love the idea that I can pay a weekly amount and I think for me another big incentive is that I know it actually potentially is paying the bike off. So if I decide I want to keep the bike, that I, I can actually own it yeah. after a couple of years. Yeah. yeah, so Josie was actually one of the driving forces for getting the bike. She was very keen to be going to school on either her own bike or, or a bike behind me. So yeah, there, there are so many bike riders at that school that, that in the morning actually finding a spot to park your bike can be a challenge. But yeah. I actually take it into the grounds and just park it near the classroom. Yeah, so when I heard that, that the servicing and maintenance was all part of the offer, that, that was also a huge drawcard.